Hello, hello. When you guys pop on, please say hello and let me know who's here. I am trying to... Join my live and share it. I'd appreciate it if you guys would do the same. There we go. There's the notification. So hopefully I'll get a couple people on. Let's see. Hi, Peggy. How are you? Hi, Catherine. All right, let's see. It'd probably help if I put my glasses on, but I'm about to lose stuff off the, si off the side of my table. It is full of projects. <laughs> Anybody else like that? I'm doing good Peggy so welcome you guys my name is Robin and this is Craig and Creations and we're gonna be baking some really cute bee stuff tear tray items how do you guys that are watching now I know there's only a couple of you right now but either here or on the replay who decorates, let me know, who decorates a tiered tray? If you do, say me or I do, and now that, plug in my iPad so it doesn't die on me. Now that um, Easter's over, what do you decorate next on your your tray or in your home you wish you had one um i've shown how to make a couple of them on this business page using dollar tree items so it really doesn't take um a ton of things also right now in the spring shop at hobby lobby everything is half off or 40 percent off um so yeah there's there's Easy ways to get one or make one. I'll just say that. Okay. Now, um, one of these items, I was not lucky enough to get these from Dollar Tree. I had to make them myself. Are these little um, hexagon shaped wood pieces from Dollar Tree. So you guys, if you're looking to make some really cute signs for your tiered trays or just sitting around your house or maybe to give as a gift to somebody that likes bee themed items go grab these or make you I had to cut all of mine this morning so mine are mine are all hand done by me because <laughs> I went to three dollar trees yesterday and did, could not find these and I'm like these are just straight cuts I'll just cut my own if I can't find them so that's what I had to do So, what are you guys doing on this Tuesday? Okay, so first off, I gotta I gotta paint these. I literally just got done cutting these and sanding them, which um, so y'all didn't have to see any of that. And I'm gonna get these painted. What am I looking for? Hang on. I told you there's literally a hundred items on my table. All right, so two of these I'm gonna do in antique white. And what I'm gonna use on these, we're gonna decoupage napkins. Um, I have 
a couple of other things that we're going to do and um, on these. And you guys, these are thick, so they do sit on their own. So you don't need to have a stand or anything. You can put these literally anywhere. In your kitchen, wherever. I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay. And I open this and use this side. That other side is very well used. I try and use <laughs> everything possible. Are y'all at work? Are you home? Do you work from home? What is everybody working on today? So I'm just going to put some paint on these. And because I'm covering this, um, these items on the front, I'm only going to need one layer, one coat of paint. You guys, if you wouldn't mind, please sprinkling this video so we can get more people on. I would appreciate it. I've already shared it to three different pa pages myself. It really does help my page. I mean, you never know who of your friends and family or in other groups would love to learn how to do some of this stuff. <laughs> Almost stuck that in my mouth. That's not good. Hello, hello. If you're just popping on, say hi, please. Let me know who's watching. And if you're new here, let me know you are new and um, where you're watching from. All right, I'm going to do, hey Pam, look, I cut them out because I couldn't find any. So I am painting the back. I'm going to do the back first. That way it's done and I don't have to turn it over and mess up my design after I get the front done. <laughs> yeah. I might find them when I go next time. I don't know. I just uh, knew I had wood at home, so if I didn't find them, I just cut my own. So that's what I did this morning. Okay, we got that one, so let's do the second one. I've got four to do, you guys, so four different designs, three different paint colors. I'm doing two in this antique parchment color. Mm 
Scrap of paper on them or just painting them? Um, I'm doing napkins, tissue paper, and maybe scrapbook paper. I haven't decided on the last um, design. So maybe you guys can help me with that. Which would you like to see? Scrapbook paper or tissue paper? Actually, it's not even scrapbook paper. It's just regular printer paper. Might as well be scrapbook paper. Sounds cute. A lot of people like the bee themed stuff, so Pam showed me these were in her Dollar Tree, and I was like, uh, I'm going to go see if mine has those, because <laughs> that's cute. All right, so which is going to be the front and which is the back? Well, this one doesn't matter. It looks pretty good on both sides, so we'll make this the back. Just wanted to say a quick hello. Hi, Jennifer. You love be themed Monica? Well, you know what? These are going to be available for purchase on Sunday. So if you like one, I'm going to be in a live sale in the virtual fake bake sale and more marketplace on Sunday. And I'll be posting that schedule here. I think there's a there's a post supposed to go out this afternoon with it that I've already got ready to to go out. You'll be watching. Awesome. You must be in the group then. We have a full house this Sunday, you guys. It's exciting. Lots of uh, sellers this weekend. This is the, the biggest live sale we've done to date. So it's going to be fun. You've had a crazy morning. What? What? How so? <laughs> you are in the group. Awesome. 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 All right. Let me... Y'all, I hate to use the dryer, but I have to. Actually, maybe I can let these dry because I do still have two other ones to paint. So let me um, do the white one. You finish your B signs, still deciding if I want words or not. Yes, I have one of these that I think I'm going to be adding words. So, the rest of them, I don't think I will, Edwards, but I never know. I know two of them, I'm not adding words. One of them is an iffy, the other one, yeah, I think I'm going to add words. Um, let's see, let me do this one. No, Monica, but I have heard that they do have these at Dollar Tree. I think mine are even smaller. Um, Pam, who's here in the comments, she did a live yesterday using the ones from Dollar Tree, and I think hers were bigger. I made mine smaller because that was the size of wood that I have, and um, I cut mine out myself. But you absolutely, if you find it at Dollar Tree, snag it, because I don't think they're going to be there for very long. I did not find them at mine. All right, so this one I'm doing in the white chalk paint from Waverly. I 
I love Waverly chalk paint. It's such good coverage. I love it. Hi, Luann. Goodness, girl, I haven't seen you in forever on here. Welcome. What have you been up to? I hope you've been well. And you're just staying busy. We'll make this the back. I went around and got rid of those sharp edges so it kind of bevels off on the sides of my wood. I gotta make sure I get those edges. Hi Anita, good morning. Not too much, you've been able to catch the replays. Awesome. Well, thank you for watching. That's right, Anita, you are on the West Coast. I'm on the East Coast, so it is still morning for you. I think I got that for the most part. Hi, Julie. Thank you for sprinkling. Thank you for sprinkling, um, Anita. All right, so this last one I'm gonna do in this mustard color. This is actually the um, uh, yellow oxide from Dollar Tree. And it's really thick. I love this. It's almost like putting on a chalk paint. So, let me scoot that over and we'll bring in the last one. And... You guys, if you can find these at your Dollar Tree, these make really cute decor mm -hmm. stuff. I wasn't lucky enough to find any at Dollar Tree <laughs> in my Dollar Trees. But in their defense, they were just starting to put out um, new boxes of stuff. So I might have been there a little too early. Will you have a lot of B stuff for your sale? I'm trying. I have had, I've already been selling the bee stuff mm -hmm. for, um, several weeks now. And, uh, some of it is already in my Etsy shop. But yeah, I can, I'll probably bring a lot of it back for the sale. Because now that Easter's over, that's what everybody's looking for. Your Dollar Tree is sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anita. I 
I have three of them in my town and I went to all three of them yesterday morning. Nobody had these. And I was like, well, I've got wood in my garage. I can cut it myself because it's really just straight shots, straight cuts. Is there anything, Monica, that you would like to to see on Sunday? I'm just getting that edge, that little beveled edge that I put in there. You guys, these aren't perfect because I cut them myself. It's not like a machine did it. So, you know, it is truly handmade. <laughs> Let's see, I'll do this as the back. Faux whip mini mugs. Um, yes. Let's see. I have, I have the... The tin. It might already be over on the on the rack. I've been doing a lot of lemon stuff too. I'll have to keep an eye out for them. Yes, Luann. If not, if you know somebody that can cut you some out of wood that you might have laying around, they might do that for you. This is a, a really good B color. It's not often I get to use this mustard color, so... I used it in the fall a lot because it is a, a, a more fallish color. And all right. Let's do this. Oh, man. Of course, Robin. I have to get everything dirty. All right, just paint right over it. Done. All right, so now I need to get this top. I don't. I don't think I, I don't think I got rid of the sawdust on these. That's why I've got a lot of these little things that are popping up in my paint. Perfect color for B theme. Yes, I thought so too. I was, I was excited when I was looking through my paints going, I like that one. Y'all, y'all need to tell me on that last project, do you want to see paper or, well, I guess it doesn't matter. It's all paper. Tissue paper or regular print paper. Okay, so there's that one. Get the top of this one done. 
Maybe doing it this way, I won't have to run the dryer as long. You should sell these blanks in your Etsy shop. <laughs> I probably could. They're not perfect. I mean, I don't have the machine. It's all done by hand, by me. <laughs> and I do not have a steady very imperfect. No laser cutting machine here. It is all by hand. But I certainly could. That is a good idea. Maybe I'll cut some and have some available someday. For sale. It's handmade? Yep. Um... Who asked that? I almost did that again. I'm, I'm constantly doing that with my brushes. Can you remember what size you started with? Luann, I used a cookie cutter. I want to say it was a three and three quarters inch cookie cutter that I used as a pattern. Go on Google and Google a pattern and shrink it down to whatever size you want or expand it to whatever size mm -hmm. you want. Because I'm not good with math and all the angles. <laughs> so, cookie cutter it was. You could make mini books to match them. Yes! Yes, I could. Okay, let's do this white one. Or you could. <laughs> you could do that too. But yes, it would totally be doable. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do a patriotic project today or this because I cut out a bunch of wood this morning. You're welcome, Luann. You know, if you open up a, a Word document, like you're going to type something out, I'm sure they have like a um, shapes icon just put in hexagon and you'll have your pattern and then just resize it to whatever size you want to cut out all right that one's done Edges are still a little wet, but they'll dry. Okay. I think I'm good. All right, so let's dry these. Whoops. Your mini firecrackers. Oh, awesome.
Was that from a tutorial you saw or something you came up with? Something you saw on Pinterest? Awesome! I made some last year, that's why I was asking. I cut mine out of different lengths of dowels and then drilled holes in the top and put like, um, what are those, pipe cleaners? like. Silver and gold pipe cleaners rolled up to look like firecrackers. It was a fun project. That's something super easy you could do with your kids, too. I think we all get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest. my hand. I'm not transferring paint like I did with when I dropped them. All right, that is done. That's not dry. <laughs> Throw that out so I don't mess it up. Okay, so, oh, good lord. We're going to do that one last because he is not dry. Now, I know somebody on here who is going to love this one. So I have this tissue paper. Look at that pattern, you guys. Look how pretty. So that's going to go on one of these. This pattern, I love the darker patterns, is going to go on the other one that is the antique parchment color. So let's see. Oops, I need my brushes, one of my brushes back. I have so much stuff. We might be putting some bling on there. Got to get those out of my way. get my Mod Podge on here so it can be drying and we're going to iron these on. Well, 
want to make sure I get my Mod Podge all the way to the edges, so... It hangs on. It was hard to decide which uh, design to use. I've got so many. <laughs> I was like, well, I'll do two light ones and two darker colored ones, and we'll just leave it at that. My bee cupcakes turned out so cute and dried beautifully. Awesome. I have not done a bee cupcake in probably two years. It's been a long time because after that, the, the little mini mugs got really big. So I didn't do any cupcakes. I switched over and did the little mini mugs. But I don't think with the bee stuff you could go wrong with either one. I mean, people love it all. And I'm going to show you guys what, after I get the napkins and whatever I do with them on, I'm going to keep going with them. So don't think I'm done after I get them ironed on. This little edge down here didn't get any Mod Podge. Okay, three down. Are you dry? Quilt is good enough, I hope. Did everybody have a good Easter? I did. It was nice and quiet here. Just me and my husband. I didn't cook, came out and I worked, he did whatever he wanted to do, and then we went and ate dinner at Denny's. <laughs> I did not want to cook. I'm used to cooking for a big family, and when it's, when it's a holiday and it's just him and I, I just don't, I don't feel like cooking. All right, so we got all of those done. I've got some things that I made Sunday that are still dry and they're just thick so they take a little bit longer to dry. All right, so we'll do two on tissue paper. I just spit at you guys, sorry about that. Two tissue paper and two napkins.
And then we're gonna maybe use some jute rope. That's all I've got left. Maybe some black bling. Maybe some gold bling. I don't know which color yet. Burlap. Some bees and some little honey pieces that I had laying around. Turn in turn on my little iron while I'm drying this. One done. I'm just waiting on this one to dry. And then I can move on. Got just a little bit longer. So let's do the two antique parchment colored ones first. I'm going to do sure my little beehives on there are on straight. All right, that looks good. What did I do with my parchment? Now I'm going to use parchment paper. Is it on? No. <laughs> Hi, Kathy Smith. Oh, girl. I was thinking about you when I was making these. Wait till my next one. I thought this was on the whole time, you guys. It heats up real quick. We're going to be doing mm -hmm. some sanding. A lot of painting, sanding. Is it on now? Oh, it's heating up. That's all I need is third degree burns on a live. Not like that's not going to happen at some point. So who remembers this little guy from last year? <laughs> I 
I'm just going to put it on and rub it all over so that will heat up the Mod Podge that we put on it. And I'm going to really get those edges good. Y'all remember it melting my mat? Or the mat that it sits on? Well, it also warped my cutting mat, my big one. I found that out a couple of days later. Do this one so that one can dry off. Okay, Miss Kathy, look how pretty. It's got your black colors in it. I'm working on a couple of things for the live sale on Sunday. Other than this, this is what I'm doing while the other stuff is um, drying and waiting for the next thing. Okay, that one is done. Do go this one. <clears throat> we'll do all the sanding at once. This one's going to get a napkin, and this one is a honeycomb pattern, and that's all it is. It's just the honeycomb pattern. So and this is going to go on here. So I'm going to cut it out. You... It's a cute little heater, isn't it? I got it off of Amazon. Where did I? F where did I? What was that? Where did? Where did you find the napkin? Um, that was in a swap group. A napkin swap group page. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. So I save these, and if you're in the Crafting Coaches Corner group, you will see me use these in June when I do my, my live for a featured designer. So hang on to them, you guys. Okay.
Okay, that one's done. Now one more, the white one. This one is going to be a different napkin. And it's like this. Again, this one also came from the napkin swap group, so I couldn't tell you where it came from. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. All right, so, oh, you know what? Yeah, that's right. That's it. And I can turn this thing off because it I keep thinking my elbow is gonna hit it. Why? See if it is done. All good. Okay, now I can do some sanding. I know a lot of you guys have decoupaged before, so this is old news for you guys <laughs> but it makes some really cute home decor I think I told you guys before my grandmother taught me how to decoupage back when I was a teenager that was like 40 years ago <laughs> Adorable. All right, so there that's one. There's the honeycomb pattern one. Jan. Thank you, Kathy. 
think this one's probably this one or I like the darker ones. I just got to say I like the darker ones. Look how cute. Can you guys see the little bitty beehives that are in that pattern? I think it's so cute. Okay, last one. Isn't it adorable, Anita? I thought so. It was really hard for me to choose. I've got several others that I could have used, but I was like, I'll just go with too light and too dark. I'm gonna make some more uh, with different colored backgrounds. I have I have one that's got a blue-ish background to it, like a light blue. That was also really pretty. All right, so now that we've got those on there. Thank you, Holly. Hi, by the way. I didn't see you pop in here. Hi, Jenny. You love them all, Luann? <laughs> all right. Let me get rid of this mess. The sawdust or the sandpaper mess. Okay, can you guys see? Let me turn you down a little bit. I forgot to do that earlier. All right. On this one, I think I want to put words on this one. Just not sure what words. Maybe, I don't know, you guys help me out. What words would you add to the honeycomb pattern? So my first thought when I saw Pam do these yesterday and she held up hers, I saw in my mind the outline of a um, mm -hmm. honey pot. And I thought about doing a drip of honey down mm -hmm. on them with the word honey across them. That was my first thought. Be happy. Okay. Thank you, Jan. So I thought about turning them into a little honey pot. So I don't think I'll do it with this one. But this one, I think I want to do it with that. Sweetest honey. Oh, I like that one. I do like that one. Honey bee. Would you add words to this one? Or is it already busy enough with all the bees on there? I like the sweetest honey. I might do it on this one. Be kind. So this one I'm going to add words to. You would add words to this one? Okay, so I'll add words to these. This one I want to decorate. This one, you could literally use it any way. There's no upside or downside to it. I love that pattern. This one has to sit a certain way or the beehives are going to be upside down. So it has to go like that. Now, my thought was using the burlap <clears throat> to create a 
honey pot look to it. So if I were to, let me see if I can do this backwards. Put the burlap on there. Like so. And I would glue it down and then wrap it with this twine. Kind of like it's holding the lid closed. Look at that. I kind of like that. What do you guys think? Of that idea. Alright, so let me fray these ends. Because I don't want it to look cut and then I'm just gonna look at look at it from the front oops that's got to go down and then over Okay, so I'm gonna cut it in half. I think I can only get two out of one strip. Thank you so much for sprinkling, Holly. I appreciate it. I'm gonna get rid of this salvaged edge here. Too far down. That's cute right there. So I think I'm going to do hot glue really thin on the top. I've had a frustrating day. Internet was out when I got up at 5. They told me it would be next Monday. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Dang, Jan. It mysteriously came back on at noon after hubby threatened to cancel. <laughs> Didn't you just do a lot of internet switching around to Jan? I thought I thought it was you that was going through some stuff like that way. I could be wrong. All right, so that's going to be cute. I'm going to keep going down on this side. I just don't want it to go as far down as that. All you can do is lap. I know. It's new service. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I thought I had watched one of your lives where you said you had all new internet stuff. You had gotten rid of some things.
I'm just cutting a little corner out of this piece in the back or on the side right like that so that I can fit it on there because when this comes down in the front I'm winging this you guys it'll fold over like this right here and then I'll have to cut that all right so let's let's do this I'm going to come over to the other side before I put the front down. I got to get my sides down. Now I'm going to cut a little square out of this one. Ooh, I wish my scissors were sharper. I don't want to follow through. It's like the very tip of these things don't want to cut. Let's get that one down. Now I want the front to come down. So I'm going to get it. Ooh. Gonna hold it for a second. I put a really thin layer because I don't want it to squish up between the fibers of the burlap. So you'll be able to see it. Now I'll get the sides down. And I'm hoping this turns out the way I saw it in my head. <laughs> One side down. sides.
Okay, so that's what it's looking like so far. I think it's cute. All right, so now I want to wrap some jute around it. I don't know if I want to do this or something. Oh, they're all about the same color. This is lighter. Nah, we'll just go with this. All right, so. <laughs> this is cute. I laugh at my crazy ideas. I haven't made one, so I had no idea how it was going to turn out, but it's cute. Sorry, I know my air conditioner can get loud. It needed to have the filter cleaned. My husband cleaned the filter, and to me it still s sounds loud. You gotta run errands in a bit. It's so cold. Oh, I don't blame you, Jan. I wouldn't want to go either. I hate being cold. I cannot function if I am cold. Not at all. Thank you, Kathy Smith. I did them Saturday. Look how cute you guys. Does that not look like a little pot of honey? I think that's so stinking cute. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. I want to put a sunflower on it. Hang on. I got to go grab it. Thank you, Pam. Thanks, Anita. You love it. Honey pot for sure. Yes, that's what I saw when Pam held hers up yesterday. I was like, that looks like a like a honey pot. I'm gonna make one. All right, let's see. Oops. Macaron on the floor. <sighs> Thank you, Kathy Smith. What do you guys think? If I put it right up here, let me hold it right. Let me see what it looks like in the 
video. Oh, that's cute. I'm wondering if I could get a leaf behind it. What did you say? Yes, you think? Yeah, I thought I thought so too. But I want florals. I might put a floral on this one too. Because all that is, is is honeycomb and sunflowers. I like it. Alright, I'm going to cut this back end off. So it'll sit flush. dry for just a second. Thank you, Jenny. All right. I'm just taking some of this greenery bulk off the bottom of it so it will fit the way I need it to. I like that. Sorry, I had to look at it my way. Okay. I'm going to have it go that way and that way. Over that jute string. So it's straddling that string right there. See, I cut a V out of the bottom of that leaf so it could sit right on top of that, that um, jute string. Here we go. Oh my God, it's so cute. Thank you, Jenny. Oh, it is cute. It's cute. It's cute. I love it. Okay, so there's that one. Adorable. Okay, so what I thought mm -hmm. on here, because I still mm -hmm. want to add a B. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Kathy. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Pam. Girl, it was your hand when you held it up that gave me this idea right here. Um, let's see. I have a little B. These ones are a little different. What do we think of that on there? Or maybe putting him down here. Let me cut this off. It's a button. Yes, I use nail clippers to cut my buttons. <laughs> I don't use them like I used to anymore. You love it, Kathy? Okay, so... How about in the flower? 
I don't know that he would show up because the center of the flower is really dark. Kind of blends in with the flower. I think... Maybe down here. So that not everything is over on one side. It can be one on one side, one on the other. To the side? Yeah, that's what I thought too. I'm going to put him right there. And that one's done. Oh, well, he's already down, down a little <laughs> on the side like that. <laughs> That's where he's at. <laughs> okay, so that one's done. I, I think he's done. This one's going to get words. Um, I like sweet as honey for this one. So... With that, I could still put the same B on there. Let's see, how does he look? Oh yeah, he'll pop on there really good. So if I put him at the bottom, oh. in the bottom corner and then say sweet as honey across here I think that's good and I do it in black sweet as honey will be in black actually hang on I have some honey pieces so I forgot all about them Just cutting these edges off. Okay, so sweet as honey. Maybe he could be at the top with the honey on the bottom and the words in the middle. Oops, hang on. So sweet, which way am I going, Robin? Like that. So sweet as honey would be in black in the middle with the honey down here on the bottom and the bee up here on the top. What do you guys think of that? Do we like that? I actually think I want to distress this one, kind of dirty the edges. And maybe that one. Do we like that? I think I like that. And that honey kind of fits in there quite nicely. I think I want to distress it, so let me do that.
gonna drop. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> I turned off my Wi-Fi because it almost shut me down. All right, so I did three of the six sides. You see what a difference that makes? Um, you know, not distressed and then kind of dirtied up. That's kind of what I'm going for, so. about that guys I don't know what happened it must have heard Miss Jan talking about internet and decided well we want to act up all right so I did that to the edges And the words, so this one's going to be glued down. All right, so that one's done. I have the honey on there and the bee, and then I'll put the words on there later. And I'm gonna do sweet as honey. Two down. All right, you guys, I don't know what to do with these last two. What should we do with them? Let me think. I think I might take the jute and do a wrap around with the jute and some florals. What do you guys think of this? Or maybe pull it down a little bit.
What do y'all think of that? Let me get it off of here. Okay, if I get that up there as far as I can get it. shorter I'm thinking <laughs> you like it I like it too but I'm thinking should we put bling on any of them this one would be good with either of these colors What if I bling it around the middle instead of the jute? You like some bling? Yeah, I want I wanted at least one of these to have some bling on it. Maybe both of those will get bling. Let me see what this is going to look like. Cut me a strip and see. How do I want to do it? I'm going to do three rower the scissors man are not sharp oh 36 no thank you <laughs> I do not I do not Honey bees and flat. Oh, I love that. I might have to make another one just to put that on there. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want that either. Okay. What if we do give it a belly band around the middle? with the florals on one side 
and I'll wrap the stem in jute. What do you guys think of that? 23. Girl, you need to move. Uh-uh. No. No, no, no. Anita, you like that? Okay, so I'm gonna... Cut that right there. One of these ends, I think I'll cut these off of this side because the flowers are going to hide them. So I just took it and cut so that that middle one is there. Oops. Like that. All right, I'm going to use my Oh my goodness. Hang on. Come on. I think I'm almost out. I can't even see. Is it coming out? Oh. All right. Well, let's see if I can turn it over without super gluing myself to it. All right. So that's what it looks like so far with the bling on it. Now I'm going to take this little bunch of florals and this extra piece and I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap this little stem piece here.
Oops. Slid off the end. All right, I gotta get this right on the end. Just like that. So I took that and I just wrapped that bottom of the stem with jute, rope, string, whatever. Now I'm going to hot glue down the back of it. Hi, Laurie. And there's that. So that's on there. Now I'm going to put a bow on it with more jute. I think it needs a bow. Ooh, yeah. I was thinking a blingy bow, but mm, that'd be overkill. I wish I had some of their blingy bees. That would be awesome. They've never sent me any of those. Maybe I should make a special request. This one has a little bow. And I think she's done. Little bling. Little sunflowers. My grandmother would absolutely love this. She loved sunflowers. I love that. Thanks, Anita. It is cute. That one turned out really cute. Okay, so three down. What are we doing with this one? <laughs> I don't know what to do with this one. I think if I do bling on this one, it needs to be the black. Very cute. Thank you, Kathy Smith. Thanks, Neva. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Holly. Thank you, Anita. All right, so with this one, what if, and 
because I thought about distressing the sides, but what if I took this bling and kind of gave it an edge all the way around? What do y'all think of that? Let me do one and you guys can tell me what you think. Let me do one edge or put it up there next to it and y'all tell me what you think. Like that all the way around. Hi, Miss Mary. Yes. Let's see if I can hold this. To kind of show it looks something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I'm thinking, what was that phrase Pam said? Honey bees and flowers, please. I'm wondering if I should put that on here. Honeybees and flowers, please. Because that would be a lot of black if I did it in black. What if I just did the edges in the black? What if I went around the edge instead of on top. If I put it right on the rim. What do you guys think of that? And then I could do the phrase on the top. I'm checking to see if I do that, will it stand up? Yes. Yes, it will. I like the edge too. Like on the sides, on the edge, not on the top. Okay. So if I do that, I don't want pieces. I could wrap the whole thing in one section of bling. That way you could sit it down or stand it up. Hey, Teresa. All right, so I think I'll do that. 
So I'm going to need a longer piece to go all the way around. I can't see it. All right, we're going this way. Now that I've figured, should I do the full length of the side? I think I should. I think I should. Instead of just one strip, I want to do the whole side. Yes. I'm doing it. I'm not even asking y'all what you think. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. Yes, I'm doing it. Okay. So how many, how many rows do I need? I'm going to do four. So you guys, I'll be selling these on Sunday in the Virtual Fake Bake Sale and More Marketplace group. We have a full lineup. Everything starts at 2.50 and goes all the way till 7 o'clock. So if you miss us, the replays are always available. Please go back and watch the replays. And if you like something that you see and want to purchase, as long as we have it, have it available, we're more than happy to help you out with that. Now the next time I go live will be Thursday, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and Friday, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I'm in a an event Thursday and Friday in honor of Earth Day and what we have to do is it's in honor of Earth Day they're calling it garbage to glam so something you would normally throw in the garbage you have to figure out a way to repurpose it or recycle it So that's what we're doing. I'm just getting these little hairs off. You guys see all this crap that's fallen when you cut these. All right. I need to uh, sharpen my scissors for sure. Okay. We are going. These guys are going everywhere, so I guess it doesn't matter where the top or bottom is. Do I want it to be on the corner when it ends or in the middle? We'll do a corner. I'm going to use my super glue gel again.
Do you like it so far? Mm -hmm. Who's going to try this? Anybody going to try this? Mary. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. <laughs> you have to see if you can find these little wood pieces at Dollar Tree. Otherwise, you'll have to cut your own like I did. Or I might have some for sale on Sunday. Blank ones. Then you can do what you want with them. Pam had that awesome idea. I should sell the blanks. All right, last section. This hurts my hand to do this. Not super glue. It's glue to stay. Okay, so that's what it looks like all the way around. Super cute. And then I'll put words on the front. Let's see, what was that phrase? Mm -hmm. Honey, bees, and flowers, please. Mm -hmm. I think is the word beautiful. Thank you, Miss Neva. So I think what I might do with this one, after I get the words on it, I think that'll be it. Do you guys think it needs anything else after I put the words on? Thank you, Miss Mary. Then it'll sit level, right like that. Yeah, I think this one, I think so too. Just the words and this one will be done. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks, you guys. It looks good. Yeah, I think so too. These turned out adorable. Thank you, Anita. Okay, so I have two that I have to put words on. These two. So these are not quite finished. I will um, put the wording on these and then I'll post a picture. So this was like this. And then there's this one. And then, oh, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Mary. You love them all, Jan? Well, they'll be available on Sunday, girl. Just saying. Or, you know, 
we sat here and made them together and then there's this one the little honey pot one that we made there's that and then I don't know I think this one might be my favorite I don't know they all turned out super mm -hmm. cute they are adorable awesome 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 these turned out super cute I'm excited okay you guys um stinking cute aren't they neva so you guys these will be available on sunday in the live sale so if you can't watch it sunday i know sunday's a uh, family day for a lot of people you know watch the replay um i will have tons of these available because i can cut these out anytime and make them Thank you, Jan. Thanks for thanks for being here. I appreciate it. And then remember, you guys, Thursday and Friday, 5 p.m., I'm going to be live making a, something else. Making some glamorous garbage or something like that. Garbage, garbage to glam for Earth Day. I'm never going to remember that. Anyway, so thanks for being here, you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. You have no idea. And I'll see you in a couple of days. You guys stay safe. Bye.